How to clean gas burners. Is it time to give your gas burners a good clean? This video has you covered. Discover a detailed, step-by-step -step guide on how to clean gas burners effectively. Gas stoves may look intimidating to clean due to their various parts, but managing grime on your burners and grates is not as difficult as it may seem. The easiest way to clean your burners is with a commercial oven cleaning spray. If you have built up grease and grime on the burners, you can remove them and soak them in a soapy solution. If the grates covering your burners are coated with hard residue, ammonia can help break the grease down and make them clean again. Once you're finished, your stove will look sparkling clean. Watch now and enjoy a cleaner, more efficient cooking experience. Don't miss out on this essential kitchen maintenance guide. Welcome to Best Choices. This video will tell you how to using a commercial cleaner, deep cleaning burner heads and caps, and cleaning the grates with ammonia. Now let's get started. Things you'll need. Using a commercial cleaner. Sink. Oven cleaning spray. Cleaning cloth or sponge. Deep cleaning removable burner heads and caps. Container. Dish soap. Sponge. Toothbrush. Towel. Cleaning the grates with ammonia. Sealable plastic bags. Ammonia. Sponge. Method 1. Using a commercial cleaner. Number 1. Remove the grates from your stove and set them in your sink. Grab the grates covering the burners and lift them up with both hands. The number of grates will vary depending on the stove you have. Put the grates directly in your sink so you can wash them without making a mess anywhere else in your kitchen. Some grates have interlocking pieces. If you have trouble picking up one of the grates, try lifting the grate next to it first. Number 2. Coat the grates with an oven cleaning spray and leave them for 25 minutes. Oven cleaning spray helps break down grease stains and makes it easier to remove grime. Hold the spray can 4 to 6 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters from the grates and press the button to apply a generous coating of the cleaner. Let the cleaner sit on your grates for about 25 minutes so it can loosen the grease. You can buy oven cleaning spray in big box or grocery stores. Be careful not to breathe any of the fumes since they can irritate your lungs. If you don't want to use oven cleaner, sprinkle a powdered cleanser on the grates, then scrub them with zero-grade steel wool. If there's anything that's still stuck on, use a rounded butter knife to scrape it away. Number 3. Spray oven cleaner on the stove top and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. Hold the can 4 to 6 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters over your stove and spray an even coat across the entire surface. Apply an extra spray around areas that have accumulated a lot of grime. Leave the cleaner on your stove for at least 20 minutes so it can break apart the grease and make it easier to wipe off. Oven cleaner can remove paint if it's left on for too long, so be sure to wipe any off of the burner knobs. Tip, you can also make your own cleaning paste with 1 cup, 230 g of baking soda, and 1 2 cup, 120 milliliters of vinegar. Apply the paste to the surface of your stove with a cloth or sponge. Number 4. Wipe the cleaner off of the burners with a damp cloth or sponge. Dampen a cleaning cloth or a kitchen sponge with warm water. Work from the back of the stove toward the front so you can catch any crumbs or food residue as you clean. Rinse off or wring out the cloth whenever it gets too dirty before wiping the stove again. If you need to scrub areas that are more difficult to access, use a stiff bristle toothbrush that you only use for cleaning purposes. Wear cleaning gloves if you don't want to get grease or cleaner on your skin. Number 5. Rinse and dry the grates before putting them back on your stove. Use a cleaning cloth or sponge to wipe the cleaner off of your grates. 
rinse the cleaner off of the grates and dry them by hand before putting them back on your stove. Be sure the grates sit flush on your stove so they aren't uneven. If there's still food stuck on your grates, then you may need to use steel wool or a scouring pad to remove it. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Deep cleaning burner heads and caps. Number 1. Remove the burner heads and caps from your stove. Take the grates off of your stove and set them aside for now. Grab the top piece of the burner, also known as the cap, and pull it off to remove it. Then, grab the round metal part of the burner, also called the head, and pick it up from the stove. Be sure to remember where each burner goes so you can put them back when you're finished. If the burners don't come out when you try to lift them, then check if there are any screws holding them in place and use a screwdriver to remove them. Number 2. Put the parts in a large container with warm water and dish soap for 30 minutes. Fill a large tub or your sink with warm water and about 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters of liquid dish soap. Agitate the water so it's sudsy and the soap is mixed in thoroughly. Set the heads and the caps in the soapy water and let them soak for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can also make a cleaning solution that's equal parts vinegar and warm water if you want to clean your burners naturally. Number 3. Scrub the burners clean with a sponge. Take each burner out of the container and rinse them underneath warm water. Use a cleaning sponge to wipe any dirt and grime off of the burners. Once you've wiped the burners, give them another final rinse to remove any soap. Tip, if they're stuck on material, try using a stiff bristle toothbrush or a piece of steel wool to remove it. Number 4. Let the burner heads and caps dry completely before replacing them. Wipe the burners with a clean kitchen towel before setting them on a rack to air dry. Leave the burners on the rack until they're dry to the touch, which should take about one hour. Burners that are slightly wet or damp may not ignite properly when they're put back on your stove. Number 5. Set the burner heads and caps back onto your stove. Locate the small hole near the middle of the burner head and line it up with the electrode, which will look like a cylinder sticking up from the stove top. Make sure each burner is placed in the right spot and set the cap on top of each one. Make sure the caps lay flat on top of the burner heads, or else they may not ignite and the flames will be uneven. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Cleaning the grates with ammonia. Number 1. Put the grates in large sealable bags. Lift the grates off of your oven and slide them each into individual bags. If you have round or square burners, they will most likely fit inside of a resealable 1 US gal, 3.8L bag. If you have larger burners that don't fit in kitchen bags, then use large garbage bags instead. Number 2. Pour in 1 4 to 1 C, 59 to 237 milliliters of ammonia and seal the bags. Use only 1 4 cup, 59 milliliters of ammonia in smaller kitchen bags and 1 cup, 240 milliliters in large garbage bags. Pour the ammonia onto the grates before closing the bags so they're airtight. The ammonia doesn't have to completely cover the grates because the fumes will break down the grease. Use duct tape or rope to tie garbage bags closed so the fumes can't escape. Avoid breathing in ammonia fumes, since it may cause nasal irritation. Warning, never mix ammonia with other cleaners that contain bleach, since they will create toxic fumes. Number 3. Leave the bags alone for 12 hours. Once the bags are sealed tight, store them in a safe place where they won't get opened or damaged for at least 12 hours. Over time, the ammonia fumes will break down any grease and grime stuck on the grate so they're easier to clean. 
Set the bags outside so your house doesn't smell like ammonia if they accidentally break open. You can leave the grates in for longer if you have stuck on food residue. Number 4. Wipe the grates clean with a wet sponge and dry them. After 12 hours, carefully open the bags so you don't inhale the fumes. Pour the ammonia into your sink while you run warm water so it gets diluted. Then use a damp sponge or cloth to wipe the grates to remove any residual grease that's left on them. Wipe the grates dry with a lint-free towel before putting them back on your stove. Don't use paper towels to dry your grates, since they may pill and leave behind residue. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Warnings 1. Don't mix ammonia with any cleaners that contain bleach since it will produce toxic fumes. 2. Be careful not to breathe in ammonia fumes since they could irritate your nose. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.